Muli po magandang araw. Ako pa rin po si Ellie Saludar. Ito po ang inyong kaibigan. Dito po sa programa Iparas kay Paras, Secretary Jim Paras. Bumabati po na magandang hapon sa inyo lahat ating mahal na mga kababayan. At magandang araw mula sa Maestro Ado Paglinawan po ang inyong lingkod nagpupugay rin sa magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. At uh, siyempre mga kababayan, usap-usapan yung uh, naging uh, maanghang na talumpati at uh, banat ni uh, dating Pangulong uh, Rodrigo Duterte dito direkta mismo kay uh, Pangulong Marcos Jr. at uh, maging kay First Lady Lisa Araneta Marcos. At makalipas niya ng, ng isang araw, kinabukasan ng uh, papalis si uh, Pangulong Marcos Jr. at uh, First Lady para po sa state visit sa Vietnam ay nako, ramdam na kagad Secretary Jing yung tensyon ng dalawa at uh, parang nakita mismo si First Lady na hindi niya pinansin. Tila hindi niya pinansin. Ito pong si VP Sara. Totoo yan. At uh, mukhang uh, dito sa video ay uh, maraming nagsasabi na nag-react na kaagad ang uh, unang ginang Ah, ng uh, bansa at uh, pinakita daw yung kasalaswaan ng kanyang ugali kasi pinagbuntungan ng galit niya ay ang uh, unang uh, ang ipang, 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 ip, kalawang president. uh, presidente the vice president Sara Duterte ito po yung video uh, pakita natin kung uh, very clear na inisnab niya si Ginang Vice President Sara Duterte. Okay. Ikaw, paling Eri. Ikaw mo nang unang pumansin sa kalaswaan ng ugali nitong uh, sinasabi nilang unang uh, unang ginang ng ating bansa. Dito ho mga kababayan sa ipinakita na video footage ay uh, talagang uh, nahalata eh, na iniwasan at uh, may sama ng loob. Ito po nga si First Lady kay uh, Vice President Sara Duterte kasi nung naglalakad hindi na sana mapapansin pero binalikan niya eh. Kasi nadaanan niya rin si Executive Secretary Bersamin. Pero binalikan niya. So, tapos ay uh, nauna na umakyat. At sa uh, talagang nakasimangot. Ah, Nakitang kita sa video. Ikaw paring ano, ano masasabi mo? Actually, Is that uh, good? Actually, ha? hindi. Hindi fair play, you no? Know? Actually, hindi siya nakasimangot. Yun na talaga ang mukha niya. <laughs> oh. At, <laughs> pero yung stab talaga. Kasi nga... Nagulat ako nung makita ko yan. Sa protocol, hindi ka na kukros. Dahil dumaan ang presidente doon eh. Hindi ka na babalik doon kay Executive Secretary Bersamin. Oh. At kung babalik ka man doon, doon ka lang, pag andal ng Pangulo sa protocol, gigrit mo naman si hindi naman, Sara Duterte. Walang protocol. Eh. Walang protocol. Siya nga yung si Bongbong nga nag, nag uh, break ng protocol dahil dapat Mauna muna si Lisa kasi siya ang presidente daw ngayon ng Pilipinas. Hindi, <laughs> nakita kita doon sa isang protocol is when you take the plane, when you ride in a car, it's always the ano eh, president. the president. Sunod ka, all the alipores, saka lang ano. Ang presidente mauna, tapos ayayin ka ng ano, presidente. Oo, oo, oo. Parang ganun. Para, Pero dito, <laughs> dahil sa sama ng loob, eh, ito, punang-puna ng mga Pilipino. Ito, si Daryl Yap. Ito yung uh, best Joy. friend ni Aime. Si Joy, uh, ano ba ang pangalan nito? Uh, oh, may mga Pilipino na nagkomentar doon sa kalaswaan ng ugali daw. Ha? Di o mano. Okay. Hindi, ka, hindi kita binoto, uh, Lisa Marcos. So ngayon, actually, uh, ito, ito yung, since this is the very one of, uh, 
ano ba, no? I, I think the first. The first very maldita behavior that you have shown to the Filipino people. So, ilagay niyo po yung sarili niyo sa tamang lugar. Plus one ka lang ng presidente, hindi ka namin binoto. Vice President namin si Inday, binigay namin ng tiwala at mandato sa kanya. Sino ka? Ilagay, ang, ilagay mo yung sarili mo sa tamang lugar. I mean, parang... Bitch! Come on! Diba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ako ay, ano, uh, gusto kong umaarte pa siya ng umaarte para lalong mag- para lalong maraming mainis sa kanila. Arte, umarte pa siya kasi yung mukha niya hindi naman, hindi naman sweet, hindi naman darling, so, hindi naman charming. Nakakirita. Ano, ano? This is a very public kamalditahan sa TV. Honor ka? Oo, oo. Ang dami, 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 daming allegation ng kamalditahan ni Lisa Marcos, okay? And those remains to be chismis to people like me dahil wala naman akong personal encounter sa kanya. But for the very first time, meron kang kapekpe ka na pinakita mo sa buong Pilipinas. And now we can tell, we can say with absolute certainty na ikaw ay biyach! ba? Diba? Yeah. Ako nga eh, inialagi ko yung sarili ko. Ako kahit ayoko yung politiko, binabati ko kapag nakasalubong ko. Kasi may may mandate yun. Mm-hmm. No? May galangin natin. Yan lang. Totoo. <laughs> ba? Diba? So parang, kulote! Di ka, iayon ang arte sa ganda. ba? Diba? Sa honor ka. <laughs> sa honor. <laughs> Mabing ko nga sa TikTok yung content na, ang piling-piling mo! Yung... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, may content na ganun dati. Hanapin ko nga yun. <laughs> Tapos sabihin, feeling ko, dahil nga sobrang niyang insecure, pag sinasabihan siyang tsaka, ano siya, offend na offend siya. Yung, kasi nga, ano eh, yung she can't handle the emotional, ano eh, the emotional aspect So, yan ang mga reaksyon ng mga ordinary na taong bayan. At napupuna nila. Bawat kilos kasi, alam mo, hindi nagbabantay. Ito din. Ito din na uh, ito din at uh, gusto niya lang maging milyonaryo kaya punang-puna din ng taong bayan na yung mga sabi-sabi lang na yung mga ina-appoint na mga officials pinipili para mag-raise daw ng pondo ni Amano doon sa isang very high official at ito po ay kapuna-puna dito sa isang uh, video ha? at ito ay subject matter ngayon dito sa lalaki na inappoint sa mataas na pwesto at inaakusahan ngayon na minamanipula ang resulta ng PCSO uh, loto. Ito po, uh, pakita natin na uh, dahil dito sa Senate investigation na puna tuloy ng taong bayan, mga kababayan, na nagsisikap itong inappoint na official para magkamal ng salapi di umano para daw i offer ha uh, doon sa nakakataas na mga opisyal ito po hi mel or should i say melionario just wanted to wish you a happy 60th birthday naku senior citizen ka na ha dapat magpapayat ka na to be as sexy as shay we love you mel i wish you all the best today and for the next 60th year. Big hug. Happy birthday. Thank you for everything you've done for me, my family, for my husband. Sama-sama tayo. Babago muli para maging milyonaryo. Uh, things you've done for me, my family, uh, and for everybody close to my heart. Uh, at sama-sama tayong bumangon para maging milyonaryo. At ganun po ang indication. Ngayon, tingnan mo ang nangyayari sa South Korea. Ha? Kasi napaka matino ng mga tao sa South Korea, ito po ang nangyayari ngayon. Nasakripisyo tuloy ang Prime Minister na hindi na nagustuhan ng mga kanyang kasama sa politika, sa partido. Dahil lamang sa maliit lang na bagay. Incomparable to what's going on in our country, but Napaka, ha? Napaka matino ang mga Koreans. Ito po, uh, pakita natin kung itong video na ito. Tungkol naman sa unang ginang sa 
South Korea, okay. Mary Antoinette, the queen who helped set off the French Revolution. When told that French peasants couldn't afford bread, she famously declared, let them eat cake. What does the current first lady of South Korea have in common with this historical queen? Well, apparently, like Mary Antoinette, Kim Kyon Hee may just bring about a revolution. That is what some of her husband's party members seem to think. South Korean President Yoon Suk Yul is in a tough spot. He has to choose between supporting his party or supporting his wife. All over a $2,250 Lady Dior handbag. Back in September 2022, a transaction was secretly recorded. It's what Indians call a sting operation. A Korean-American pastor went to meet First Lady Kim Kyon Hee. He could arrange the meeting partly because of connections with her family, but allegedly also because he promised to bring her a gift. The pastor bought a Dior bag worth 3 million South Korean won. That's about 2,250 USD. He even recorded the purchase and the price tag. Next, the pastor went to meet the First Lady at her office. He gave her the bag, said it was a gift, and she accepted it before proceeding with the meeting. This was in September 2022, but the video went viral last November. It was edited and uploaded by a South Korean liberal news channel, and that has set off a political storm. Initially, the president's People Power Party refused to entertain it. They said it was a setup. The secret recording amounted to entrapment. And some party supporters agree with this. But many are asking, why did the First Lady accept the expensive gift? There is a South Korean anti-corruption law. It says that no public servant or their spouse can accept a single gift worth more than 1 million won. That's about 750 US dollars. And they can't take gifts worth 3 million won or $2,250 from one person in a year. The South Korean First Lady broke both rules at once, which is what puts President Yoon suk Yeol in a bind. He insists that the bag is being managed and stored as a property of the government. But the explanation isn't making the scandal die down. Instead, it is making headlines across South Korea. And now the president's party members seem to be turning on him. The acting leader of the People Power Party recently said the scandal could be a matter of public concern. It sparked a row with the president, who wanted him to step down. That spat has been resolved, but last week another party member likened the First Lady to Mary Antoinette. The whole issue is getting embarrassing for the president, and it shows rifts forming in the ruling party, which puts them at a disadvantage ahead of the legislative election in April. While Yoon suk Yul will stay president till 2027, his party is already in the minority in parliament. The Dior scandal risks blowing their chance to flip South Korea's National Assembly, which is why the president is publicly trying to mend ties with his rebel party members. But will this work? Will it be enough to sway voter sentiment? Or will the First Lady's Dior bag become as infamous as Mary Antoinette's cake and bring down the regime? Doon sa Korea, matino yung mga party party ano, party members eh pati yung asawa eh nadamay pa dahil sa corruption ng uh, wife, ha? Pagtanggap oh. ng regalo. Pagtanggap ng regalo eh dito sa ano, hindi hindi pagtanggap ng regalo, ini-encourage yung ha mga opisyal na maging milyonaryo. Oh, <laughs> even if it's a joke, baring ado. Bad taste, yun. Oh, alam mo, it taste. just shows your inner inner yeah. feelings na talagang yun ang ugali mo, di ba? So, ngayon, anong sinasabi ni Ginang Aimi tungkol dito sa ugali nitong mga nakapaligid kay Ginoong Marcos Macoy Jr. O ito po. Higit sa lahat, Haplusin na wa ninyo ang puso ng aking kapatid, ang Pangulo ng Pilipinas. Buksan po ninyo ang kanyang mga mata at bigyan nyo siya ng kaliwanagan ng pag-iisip. Gisingin nyo po siya at ilayo sa mga demonyong nakapaligid sa palasyo. Wow. Yung dinidiscuss natin tungkol sa 
ha? Mel, maging milyonaryo tayo. <laughs> eh, sinunda naman ni Ginang Aimi yung mga demonyo na nakapaligid sa palasyo. Sino bang nire-repel ni Aimi? Ikaw, prangka ka eh. Sino kayang demonyo na nakapaligid sa palasyo na nagtitemp? Ha? Ano ba ang temp sa Tagalog? Nanunukso. Nag- nanunukso sa aking kapatid na wag sundin ang inaasal ng aking ama. Oo. Sino kaya iyang demonyo na yan? Well, ha? Marami nang sinasabi si Marlika kung sino yan. Pero ikaw, ma-identify mo ba? Si Maestro. Maestro. <laughs> well, unang-una dyan, yung uh, parang boss of friend nila lumalabas ngayon dahil Pareho pa sila nag-greet ng happy birthday kay Mel Robles. Mm. No? Andyan din yung mga nabibiya ng mga cronies. No? Mm. Na nauna pa sa pila kaysa sa mga mahihirap. Mm-hmm. Yung mga Enrique Rason dyan. Ha? Yung mga sabihin aboytis dyan. Yan ang mga oh. demonyo na sinasabi ni Aimee. Oh, Pero mga... sino ka, sinong pinaka-demonyeta <laughs> sa mga demonyo? Actually, ano yun eh. Hindi lang demonyo yun eh. Nagsakatawang ahas yun eh. Ah, ahas. Oh, Hindi oh. lang demonyo, ahas ba? Oh. Medusa. <laughs> huh? Toxic. May huh? binu. Yun ang nagdadala ng, ano, oh. ng mansanas. Oh. Para tuksuin yung huh? Huh? Oh. si Adam. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. Kaya nga sabi ni Harry Roque, di ba? Kaya tayo mga Pilipino, imbis na durian, ang gusto natin, apple. Apple. <laughs> yung masalas na dala ng demonyo. Oh, biro mo yan. Napaka... Ah, galing sa kanyang kapatid. Pero, alam mo, ah, hindi naman siguro lalayo tayo. With your respect din kay Ginang Aimi. Eh... Naninindigan na siya dito sa mga Duterte. Eh bakit hindi niya masabi-sabi? Bakit parati niyang tinitira yung kanyang pinsan? Na yan ay sumusunod lamang. Hindi naman yan presidente ng Pilipinas eh. eh kung anong mga pambabastos at mga pang, pang-ano niya doon sa kanyang pinsan na si Romaldes. Pero wala pa siyang sinasabi doon sa mastermind nitong charter change. Ha? yung kanyang kapatid bakit hindi niya mabuljak yung kanyang kapatid na ikaw partner Eli uh, Ado maniwala ka bang si Romaldes ay gagalaw kung walang utos si Marcos Jr. ang uh, mga sinto basta nagpapakita dyan dahil ang mga pondong ginagamit ay si executive branch yes presidente oh. ang, yung uh, sila nagwesta nag- nag- sila Uh, gatsal yan sa DIS, DSWD, oh. yung mga AX na yan, mga tupad na yan. Sa dollar? Ga- gagalaw ba yan kung walang utos? Uh, eh bakit? Uh, anong bakit? power? Alam mo, pagpalusno. masyadong ano, ito si Aimee Marcos din eh. eh. Double talking din eh. Ha? Oh, eh, eh, blood is th- thicker than water. At uh, ito, uh, ito, nag-imbestiga siya ngayon. O, tingnan natin. Ha? O, oh. Pakita natin yung kanyang investigation. Dito sa ha? People's Initiative. No. Uh, dapat pinatawag niya dyan sila Laguesma, oh. sila, ano, ang tinitira niya yung mga firma, eh, these are private persons. Eh. Oh, they, they, are, they are allowed uh, by law to, uh, com- to make the campaign. Ha? Oh. Eh, bakit hindi mo ipatawag yung mga government officials na sinusabi mo They are uh, the ones uh, distributing. distributing or expending funds uh, oh. in line with this uh, people's initiative. Oh, eh, tatakot ka ba sa kapatid mo? Oh, ini-spare mo ba yung kapatid mo, ay may Marcos? At ang, kakaya, ang kaya mo lang, si Romaldes lang, ang tinitira mo? Eh, di ba nakakahiya din yan, uh, may, Madam Aimee Marcos? Ha? Oh, ito namang Huntiveros. O, doon sa Senate hearing, o, ipakita natin itong Huntiveros kung anong pinagsasabi. Mr. President, I rise on a point of personal and collective privilege. I rise not only for myself. I rise for ordinary Filipinos bewildered at what is happening in the country today. Puro 
closed door usap, puro negotiation, kung ano-anong compromise, pero tila na pag-iwanan ang bayan. Kahapon, isinagawa ang bagong Pilipinas movement na rally sa Quirino Grandstand. Sa Davao naman, may prayer rally. At ngayon, lunes, nakatayo na tayo sa sangandaan ng kasaysayan. Now that the dust has settled, we can see clearly now. Malinaw na ang lahat sa ating mga kababayan. Ang malinaw sa lahat. Parang may mali. Pinangakuan nila tayo ng unity. Pero wala pang midterm, wala na kaagad na kahit anong bahid ng unity. Habang nililito nila tayo dito sa Maynila ng bangkaroting pirmahan para sa People's Initiative, meron palang gustong bumalik sa kapangyarihan at iwasang panagutan ang kanyang mga kasalanan. Mr. President, nanalo kayo dahil pagod na ang ordinaryong Pilipino sa away at girian. Pero anong ipinakita nyo nitong linggo? Tunggalian na naman, kontrahan na naman, pinapapili na naman ang mga Pilipino sa pagitan ng dalawang maimpluensyang pamilya. Sa gitna ng makikintab na entablado, mga sayawan at kantahan, pinapamudmod na pera, at sunod-sunod na political acrobatics at madadramang mga speech sa parehong event, ang tanong pa rin, nasaan na ang ating bansa? Talking as if she also did something eh. eh ikaw nga numero uno ng violator dyan eh, yung... Uh, Ordinary, ordinary crime, e gusto mong imbestigahan at magka-grandstanding ka, hunti virus eh. E hindi tama yung ginagawa mo eh. At unang-una, ha, si Duterte, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, huwag mong i tulak doon sa unity. Unang-una, Duterte is not part of the unity. Ha? Yung anak niya, part ng unity. Pero si Duterte was even opposed to the running of Sara Duterte as vice president. Yun ang totoo. E, si, 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 e, magsisinungaling ka na naman at e, e, dadrag mo si President Rodrigo Roa Duterte dito sa uh, bulok mong uh, privilege speech. Eh. Huwag naman ganun, madam. Ha? President Rodrigo Roa Duterte has opposed the presidency of Marcos. He said that Marcos is a weak leader. Marcos, uh, mayroong isang kandidato na nagkukukain at he already rebuilt it last Sunday, kung sino yan. So, bakit po sasabihin mabubuwag ang unity? Bakit sasabihin mo dalawang grupo? Eh, ikaw, saan ka ba? Saan bang grupo mo? Ha? Nanalo ba? Ha? Swerte ka, ikaw lang na iwan. Oh, the group of Duterte, uh, alang sa, alang alang sa uh, kaalaman mo, will always strive because President Duterte has never done anything wrong. Pero hinahabol nyo na investigahan ng ICC. Uh, pero ngayon, nandiyan ka sa Senado, may ginawa ka ba against drugs? Eh, ikaw pa nga yung uh, nagpo-protect ng mga drug uh, ano eh, traffickers eh. Uh, yung testigo ng uh, uh, ano against drugs eh, tinago mo at uh, kaya ngayon may kaso ka na ano malakas ka lang sa ombudsman. Ha? Oh, eh, wag kang mag uh, magmamalinis na uh, you are uh, someone to be uh, praised by the Filipino people. Ha? May dam Uh, Senator Hunta Bayros. Hindi ah, tamaganda yung sinasabi mo kay President Duterte. Ah, ang ganda ng kanyang administration. And where were you? Ah, doon kayo sa pansitan, yung kandidato mong pagka-presidente, si Robredo, ay malayong malayo. Ah, oh, yun ang totoo. Parang ano masasabi nyo? Uh, <coughs> ako, yung mga taong 
uh, nagtataas ng unity. Alam mo tong unity na ito, it's a bad, uh, leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Eh. Kasi, are we going to unite uh, with a leader? Ha? Na si mismong si Vic Rodriguez na, na former executive secretary na best niya. friend at talagang oh. yun ang nag-guide sa kanya, tumulong. Oh. Ang nagsasabi oh. that the president has abandoned his campaign promises that the president is not performing his platform ha, when he ran for office and sana uh, appeal to ni Vic Rodriguez. No, mahis mas mas sana siya ha, at bumalik siya doon sa, sa, ano, sa vision. At sabi pa ni Amy Marcos, taliwas sa vision ng aming ama ang ginagawa nitong aking kapatid. Ay sana matauhan siya. Are you going to unite with such a uh, uh, disoriented person? Because dito sa unity, oh my God. itong mga pinklawan tulad ni Hunti Virus, ay nakikinabang yung kanyang BFF na si Llamas, panay intriga ngayon. O, oh, yun. Yung kanyang uh, sidekick na uh, Bali Gutierrez, nandiyan, nakikinabang ngayon dito sa administration ni Bongbong Marcos. Oh, this this okay. speech rubs the true meaning of what we went to Dabao for, which was to come up with a, a solid one nation opposition mm -hmm. and in a, in a democracy There is a proponent and an opposition. Kaya nga nagaganyanan yan eh. Kasi Tapos, yung ipipilit speech, pa, no? ipipilit pa ni Hunti Bayros oh. na mag uh, ano daw, But unity. Not, Duterte was never part of the unity, yes. Madam Hunti Bayros. The one that made the speech was Duterte against Marcos. They were not united. Duterte they never accepted Marcos' presidency from the beginning. He never campaigned. I even told him, sabi ko, can you consider uh, ano, Marcos? Uh, no, no way. I was his political advisor. Yun po ang sinadjust ko noon. Duterte no. said, no way will I support him. But then, Kasi alam na pala niya uh, na bangag pala dati, bangag pa rin hanggang ngayon. But then, eh, Eli, ano masasabi? Oh, uh, sige pa rin. Go, go, uh, taposin ko lang. Okay, please. But there's a way of saving this unity kung talagang titino tayo. At yun ang sinabi ni Baste, Bongbong Marcos, resign. O di wala na siya, tsaka yung ahas. No? Aassume na si Sara Duterte as president. And uh, let's hope na inominate niya si Amy Marcos na vice president and secretary of foreign affairs. Kung gusto niyo ng unity towards the direction of serving the people properly, yun ang doon tayo mag-unite. Hindi yung unity for the sake of unity. Unity with the Lenny Robredo? No way! Wala namang vision yun. Wala namang platformang binigay sa tao yun, kundi isang kulay no? na pinklawan. So, yun yun yung sabi mo dyan. <laughs> Ito, interesado ako dito sa ano, oh. ibang uh, rally, yung bagong oh, Pilipinas. Eh, tama, well, with your respect, tama ka rin yung antivirus, no? Uh, Kinikritisize mo yung Marcos Jr. Tama ka dyan. Ha? Pero galingan mo. I-sustain mo yung ano mo kasi wishy-washy ka eh. For the right ha? reasons. Oh, yung si Kibuloy, hinahabol mo eh. He's not the proper person na ahabulin mo. Ha? Ipailan nyo ng kaso sa court. Huwag mong gamitin yung Senado para mag-grandstanding ka. Oh, Tsaka yun yung pagkumulo ng Pilipinas sa, sa West Philippines eh. Sinusuportahan mo. Are you going to unite with that? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Eli, okay, eh, sabi si Eli naman. Oh. Uh, dito sa Bagong Pilipinas Rally. Uh, How much malaki ang spend for Bagong Pilipinas Rally? Bagoong. Hindi niyan Bagong Pilipinas. Bagoong Pilipinas. Ito muna, oh, 15 million ng rental. Oh. 15 million, 900,000. Yung mga printed collaterals, 265,000. Meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner of 300 PCO per year. Wow, di, di, hindi lang ito. 190,500. Hindi lang yan, kasi PCO lang eh. Oh, yung customized. Anyard, so ito. Eh, how about the other, the other departments? Oh, yan, wala na ito. Bagka doon ginastos ng buong gobyerno. Ah, isa pa. Hindi, yung General Secretary of Grandstand yan. Oh, yan. Sa kabuan, 
Ito, yung 60 million, kanya na 400,000, mayroon dagdag na tokens, yung mga aprons, bowlers, uh, mga car stickers, hoodie jackets, 7 million, 590,300. At ito, yung entertainment services. Wow. 5.3. Binayaran pala yung mga artista. Ito yung kay Willie Billy William eh. <laughs> Voluntary. Hindi, parang ang sabi nga, di ba, para siya pag umasa sa atin eh. Eh, niya. Muntik na ako hindi makasama eh. Nakasap ako na sponsor sa ticket ko eh. Ay, hindi si Sekjing eh. Hindi, wala akong ano, kakamping magsasabing, Jing, Jing, magbiging milyonaryo tayo. <laughs> milyonaryo. Jing milyonaryo. Or, pero sumatotal, itong nangyari, no? sabi natin, 29 million may kitang ginastos. Yan lang, yung mga, pero iba pa siguro yung mga bawat departamento may gato. Mayroon pa, o, oh, syempre, oh. <laughs> binigyan ng per diem yun, eh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. I mean, so, that's only, I think, uh, PCO is only talking of uh, expenses. Yeah. Expenses. Uh, oh. Yung so, PCO actual, nila, sa, oh. sa event. Yung nag-organize, yung organize. Oh. 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 Yung hako. Yung, yung hako, hmm. yung, yung mga yung transportation, yung honorarium. sa mga barangay, o oh, eh, oh. gumastos din yung mga barangay oh. ng, uh, ano, ha? Huh? Or, or DILG, masab oh. uh, given uh, funding. Yung sa ano pa, yung fireworks display, meron oh. pa. Oo, oh. marami yan. Oh. Pero sumasakal, Easily, mga 100 million yan. Sabihin natin na gumastos, pero kayo, Secretary, ano ang, na sabihin natin, naging resulta nito? Anong binunga nito? Kasi... Wala! Bago! Uh, bago! <laughs> Ginamos! Kasi, kasi diba, sa bawat ganyan mga programa... Dalunggong! May tinatawag na ROI eh. Para Wala! Sa, oh, yeah, diba? Walang ROI! Oh, yung uh, net impression. Mm-hmm. Ano ang message na nag-survive? Huwag daw na maging ano. Oh. Ang message is huwag maging tamad. Oh. Huwag, eh, sinong, maging corrupt. huwag maging corrupt. Huwag maging ano. Hmm. Sino... Sino ang pinalinggan niya? Parang, I'm listening to myself. Huh? I don't wanna be lazy. I don't wanna be corrupt. I don't wanna be something else. Oh, eh, that was the lesson that you should bear in mind, Mr. President. Pero huh? natabunan, no? Natabunan, no? Ni uh, dati Pangunod. Nawala, Dr. nawala. I predicted that. That it's not gonna end uh, good for this uh, bagoong Pilipino. Ha? Oo. But anyway, ito po ang sinasabi naman ni Joy Salceda tungkol doon sa uh, investigasyon ni Amy Marcos oh, at tungkol sa PI. Pakinggan naman natin kasi uh, patas itong programa natin. Oh, ito. All right. Now, following recent events, do you still support the People's Initiative? I support uh, the economic uh, changes in the Constitution. Yes. All right. But then in the e- in the economic changes of the Constitution, do you support that the manner to amend them be a people's initiative or what was supposedly agreed upon in the beginning that it should be a constituent assembly? Uh, Trinay na namin yan eh. Noong uh, last year pa na RB86 calling for CONCON, inisnap naman ang Senate. Oo. Na Pero hindi CONCON, dapat con us. Uh, uh, yung, di balik tayo, RBH2 ni uh, Speaker Lab ni Velasco, inisnab din nila. There were 358 House bills filed and all of them dead on arrival in the Senate. So what you're saying is the House has tried con 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 as but the Senate has always snubbed it. But would it be different today? I mean, no less than the Senate president at one point after the president intervened and said the Senate will take the lead when it comes to the economic provisions. Didn't you have uh, the support of the Senate then? He even assigned Senator Sunny Angara to study the possible amendments. Well, they have to get their three fourths in. So if you look at the political economy or if you look at the political constitution of the Senate, bagsak natin ito PI. That's the only way to go. Okay. So let's talk about the People's Initiative, all right? First of all, uh, the People's Initiative, this particular effort, this move, does it yes. plan to abolish the Senate? Because there Pula are... Pula naman. All right. But it says there that it's Congress voting as a whole. 
uh, voting jointly, yes. Voting jointly, doesn't that, doesn't that dilute the independence and the power of the Senate? Why does it have to be uh, voting jointly? Kaya nga, eh, di sana tinanggal na ng Constitution yung, ano, yung People's Initiative as a, as a process of changing the Constitution. Eh bakit nilagay-lagay pa yun dun? No, bakit so, voting jointly? The framers, the, the framers no. of the Constitution had in mind, really, the People's Initiative as a way for the people to directly in fact, that's the highest form of change. That's the highest form of amendment. Okay. Now let let me let's take this one step at a time. So clearly, the people's initiative is a recourse in the constitution. But we'll get to that later. But why does it have to be voting jointly? Yun lang tanong ko, Representative. Why not vote well, separately? Three hundred fifty-eight times na wala kami kasi na propose sa Senate since nineteen eighty-seven. Kasi no, uh, right after the, siyempre nakita ka agad yung mga mali doon sa Constitution, obviously, dahil yung na-approve nila, yung decameral, biglang bumaliktad sila ng bicameral doon sa panahon ng Kongkong. Alam mo yung Kongkong, it was constituted April, tapos na tapos sila October, tapos uh, nabutuhan February. So ang ikli din, kung ang pinag-uusapan ni consultation, eh yun talaga grabe, ang, ang ikli-ikli talaga. Ito, ilang year, 37 years ang pinag-uusapan. So, ibig sabihin, 358 times pinapos, kong, 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 as. So, wala naman magagawa na eh. Mm, okay. But then, is the only way to move the people's initi in, in, uh, initiative forward, is it really only joining, uh, voting jointly? Is that the only way? Kasi nilagay din naman doon na pwede one subject matter lang eh. All right. Okay, but clearly, you know, you won't have the support of the Senate here because it railroads essentially their power and relevance and the numbers because there are only and twenty-four. And is that a bigyan nila yung kong kon as? Pinagyan ba yung asan nila yung kong kon? All right. Eh, alam mo, <laughs> ang problema mo dyan. Let's go to the to the guts of the issue. Kulela ta tayo sa buong Asia. Ang uh, kalaban natin ngayon, Laos. Talo na tayo ng Cambodia, talo na tayo ng Vietnam. Lahat, talo na tayo. Dahil sila, bukas tayo sarado. So, ang gagawin namin? Mm. So, it's a moral duty on the part of the House really to push constitutional change on the economic front as far as we can. All right, so let's talk about this moral duty. I spoke with former Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio and I want to get your thoughts on this. He says that a people's initiative can only amend certain provisions of the Constitution. Uh -huh. If it's the fundamental aspects of the Constitution, it will have to be via con-con or con-as, such as the form of government, term um, extensions. Do you agree with that? I mean, uh, that's a very limiting factor. The power of the people, the power of the people, you want to limit that? Just so kaya nagka edsa edsa tayo, di ba? Sa so, pangalawa, pag binasa mo yung, ano, um, yung uh, pinalabas ka hapon na 10650, hindi na pag-uusapan yung uh, that was January 31, 2020. Mm -hmm. Nilagay pa dun, who can propose? Anybody. <laughs> Anybody can propose. So who may commence or initiate the process? Any registered voter or group or registered voters. Mm -hmm. So walang pakialam kung yan ay politiko o hindi. Okay. So if you read the uh, uh, IRR to the, alam mo, I was chief of staff of Raul Rojo, and this was one of the first uh, during the first Congress under the S Revolution. Okay. This was the one of the first that he filed. So I know the basically, yana na na ano ko kung paano naging defective yung uh, yung David resolute David decision. Pero yun yung dalambino, sabi na huwag na natin pakialam, masasampo sila, sabi, may meron ng batas para dito sa PI. So, anapan na lang daw ng butas doon sa ibang mga na hindi na kailangan itouch yung, uh, yung unang ano, resolution. Pero okay. I don't think... 
But, I don't think you should restrict the power of the people. All right, but but then Representative Salceda, Comelec Resolution uh, 106550, which you just quoted, this was yes. uh, issued, promulgated January 2020. May I read it? So Section 7 says, for the definition of terms, this is via People's Initiative. Constitutional amendment refers to any change in the Constitution that adds, reduces, or deletes without altering the basic principle involved and without affecting the substantial provisions of the Constitution. Revision is not included. So that's the Comelec resolution coming from the, the Supreme Court case. Pero ang sinasabi ko lang naman, eh, eh, yung papapalit. So, ibig sabihin pa talagang uh, kulelat na tayo buong buhay natin. Ito ba yung papamana mong ekonomiya sa mga susunod na generasyon dahil lang dito? Pero sinasabi ko sa iyo, pag binasa mo yung Section 7A, mm -hmm. it, doesn't, ano, it doesn't completely ano, um, delete the, the possibility of changing the manner by which we change the Constitution. Can, can you read 7A for me, sir? I mean, clearly you have it in front of you right now. Yes, here. No, no, please. Okay, Constitution Amendment. Ali, ang gusto mo, letter B? Yeah, and when it comes to the People's Initiative, there's a debate right now that it can't revise the Constitution. It can only amend. Obvious naman doon nakalagay refers to any change in constitution that adds, reduces, deletes without altering the basic principles All right. involved. So ano yung principle? The principle that it can be changed? No, I think without altering the basic principles. So for example, ah, any, no, no like, if, if, if we move to parliament, totally, if we I to, move... I totally, I totally reject that notion. Mm. Uh, alam mo, yung sinasabi ni Joey... Uh, uh, Congressman Joyce Alceda, it's really true. There were so many attempts in the different administration to really revise the or, or amend certain provisions of the Constitution to provide real reforms. Pero, alam mo, I'm not talking about the present senators, but I'm also referring to senators in the past. There is always that, ano, mga kababayan eh. Mayroon yang pagkatakot or kinakatakutan nila for selfish reason. Na pag nag-giveaway sila at sasama sila sa pagkunbin ng tinatawag na constituent assembly, ay it will open a Pandora's box na mawawala ng control kung ano-ano ang pwedeng palitan. And one of the biggest fear of the Senate is that there will be a possibility, magkakaroon ng pagkakataon na hindi na mababalik ang Senado. Posibleng magiging ha, unicameral body or posibleng hindi na national ang eleksyon ng senador. Pwedeng bigyan ng chance yung mga mga regions na magkaroon ng mga senador. Oh. So, itong mga selfish uh, ambitions ng mga senador or desires ng mga senador na manatili, mga pamilya, magkakapatid, kung ano-anong mga uh, artista o sino pa dyan, eh kung regional o kung unicameral, mawawala sila sa mapa. Oh. Marami dyan mga senador na may selfish motive who can only be elected under a national ano, national uh, stage. Hindi sila mananalo sa regional or provincial. So, Every time there's an attempt to convene a constituent assembly, ayaw nila. They will always put a monkey wrench. Kaya kung maayos lang sana ang paglatag ng mga congressmen or 
Kung sinasabi nilang mga supporters nila sa kanilang bayan-bayan, sa kanilang mga kabaranggayan, inayos lang nila uh, a people's initiative that will really uh, transform or or uh, amend that portion na may veto power ang mga senador to put a monkey wrench to a real reform in the Constitution. Maganda sana yan. That is the most ideal. E kaso, nagkaroon ng incrimination against each other, uh, na mas malakas ang boses ng mga and, uh, 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 mga opositor. Uh, they accuse now of, uh, ano, maski wala pang napuprove, eh, yun po ang nangyayari. But, uh, Joey Salceda is right. Uh, yung sinasabi ni Karen na basic principle, uh, ano bang definition mo, Karen, dami ng basic principle? Uh, uh, ano, ba yan, ano, ba, ano ba yung basic principle na hindi pwedeng palitan? Gray area nga yan eh. Ngayon, itong, itong amendment na nagsay, do you vote? For the convening of a, con of a constituent assembly, to be voted jointly by the members of Congress. So, ano ba yan? Is that not part of the basic principle? Oh, a clarification. Eh, the voting in any uh, amendment to the Constitution, the process, put a basic principle yan. Oh. Bola na no jan di ba? May oh. may meron bang uh, clarification diyan ng Supreme Court? Wala, wala eh. Kalokohan oh. kay Hello, I'm ko eh. Diretso lang nga sa abogado, abogado itong kali na ito eh. Oh. Diretso lang nga sa tao kaya nga people's initiative. Eh, sino ba ang absolute sovereign? Yes. Hindi ba ang citizen? Eh, dapat uh, ka sabi ni Sir Cheda, Pe uh, people's initiative is in the right track. What is uh, abhorrible or what is uh, uh, horrific is the fact na nagkaloon ng persahan, both buying, allegations of uh, uh, government uh, money being used. Yun lang po. Oh. Siguro yung ano, ang dapat na <coughs> Doon nagkaroon yung ng... Eh, yung proseso. Oh. Oh. Uh, paano ng pirma? Kasi kinakalangang mapirma talaga sa mga yun, yung lahat ng... Pero alam mo, district, alam mo, pare, ako ha, I'm, I'm just being pragmatic eh. Sino ba, sino bang, sino bang politiko na hindi namimili ng boto? Even party list. So, yung people's initiative, that is still uh, an election process eh. Oh, si, sino ba, alam mo, it has come to a point in our nation Uh, punta ka sa bawat distrito, barangay, every election. The kind of, kaya nga, wala na talagang pag-asa itong bansa natin. Kasi umabot na tayo sa puntos na walang buboto kung hindi bayaran. We have, yun dapat ang, it has become a cultural nightmare already. So, yung mga, even these people, sabihin mo, Ideally, noong ginawa yung konstitusyon nila, panahon nila ng ating mga forefathers, ideally, matino ang mga tao noon. Hindi nagpapabili ng boto, whether it's an election, people's initiative, or constitutional convention. Pero ngayon, gagalaw ba yung mga electorate na yan kung hindi mo bigyan ng pamasahe, hindi mo bigyan ng uh, incentive? That's the reality. Kaya, yung mga nag-iimbestiga na, oh, vote buying, vote buying, I dare you, kung hindi ka ba namili ng boto last election, tulad nga ni sinabi ni Garbin, na, oh, eh, si Lagman, nag-aakusa, eh, namimili naman ng boto daw yan, eh. In the last election, para manalong congressman, eh. Pari, ano masasabi nyo? Well, Is it that true? Well, uh, to true, yeah. Just come to a point uh, na walang gagalaw ng mga electorate. Mm -hmm. Yung sinasabing people's in a city, the very people, hindi yan ngayon at this stage of our history, hindi na yan buboto kung walang bili ng kanilang boto. Yan ang totoo. So, yun lang po. Okay. So, abangan natin ng susunod na kabanata. Pero sa ngayon, pinakahuli, ay sinuspindi ng Commission on Elections. Yes. Yung uh, pagtanggap 
na mga pirma at uh, pag-uusapan pa yan yung mga patakaran kasi parang naging mabilisan din. Oh. Pero, Maganda ang layunin pero mukhang mali ang pamamaraan. Pero ito lang ang nakakatawa. Kasi ilang beses na nag a itong si George Garcia na, oh, we will, we will, uh, bakit bigla siya nagpalit? Nakakatakot. Ha? Mukhang, mag- mukhang, mukhang mayroong nagdidikta sa kanya. Eh po, pag, pag election tayo, eh kung didiktahan itong kumilik, kung anong gaganunin, kasi nung una, pinaprocess daw niya, biniverify niya, ganyan. Tapos biglang hintuin mo, oh, <laughs> nakakaduda ka, George. Anong paisis mo? Bakit mo hininto ngayon? Oh, are you pressured by the powers that be? Are you pressured by the Senate? Are you pressured by by anyone else? Oh. Okay, okay man. Ideally, natutuwa ang tao sa ginawa mo. Pero is that proper in an, in another in another sense? Hmm. Na if it's applicable in another sense, tama ba yung hintuin mo dahil may nagutos sa iyo? Eh nakakatakot 'yan sa 2025. Do ibig sabihin, naghihintay ka lang na mandado na kung sino. Oo. Oh. Eh you're supposed to be Wala an independent kang backbone. body. Hmm. Ha? Oo. Oh. Na pagkatao. Okay. Okay, maraming salamat po, mga kababayan. <coughs>